We're here with production gear at uh, BVE. Uh, I'm with Bradley. And can you tell us uh, exactly what you're displaying at the moment? Right, so at the moment I've got DJI's free axis gimbal, which is called the Ronin. Uh, it's good for cameras up to about eight kilos. Uh, I've got a Blackmagic uh, cinema camera on it at the moment. Um, so it's not really touching the capacity it can take. Um, it's working lovely. I've got the EasyRig gimbal vest here as well. So that is an added extra, it's made by EasyRig. They've been going for years. Um, and that's just taking the weight of the whole thing for me because usually it's, it's 4.2 kilos before you've got the camera on there. Um, this whole setup, you're probably looking about six, seven kilos. So not a huge amount, but once you've got that outstretched on your arms, it does, you know, sh it, it wears your arms down for quite a while, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, it works very nicely. Okay. And in terms of application, where would uh, where could we use this? And you can use it in all manners of filmmaking, really. It's sort of there as a to offer any, uh, another option other than a steady cam, really. Um, so at fifteen hundred pounds for today and tomorrow, it's usually eighteen hundred. Um, it's a lot less, you know, of the cost as well. Um, so people have used these in all manners, indie films, um, wedding, you know, wedding films, anything really. And in terms of uh, other devices uh, that would be a little bit kind of lower in price, what could you uh, recommend? Um, in terms of lower in price, you've got the Nebula over there. Um, that's only good up to about a kilo. We do do another one called Be Steady. Um, that can take up to about five days, but you're looking at the same price. Other than that, we are doing one called uh, by Lampart, who that would take so like a GoPro. So anything smaller than this, yeah, in terms of what it can take, yeah, that's where you're looking cheaper, but you won't find anything that can take this.